Hey guys, this is Zero Chester of Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming potential major system that could bring major impacts to Mexico and the United States in the coming weeks. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content, hit the notification bell if you not want to miss a single upload. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center has a disturbance in the far eastern Atlantic that has a 30% chance of formation through five days, but a more emitment disturbance is just east of Bermuda that will likely curve away from the United States and stay out to sea that has a 70% chance of formation through five days. This disturbance down here near Mexico has a 60% chance of formation through five days and could become a pretty major system with what models are thinking right now. As a disclaimer before you get into this video, things can and probably will change and updates will be provided as needed. This is the latest GFS model and this is around Saturday this coming weekend, August 28th. You can see that system where that L is, that low pressure system with a thousand three millibars. The lower the number generally, the stronger the system and hurricane is. And you can see that going towards Mexico, pretty weak, probably a tropical depression or a low, low end tropical storm there. And that goes, it moves pretty quickly actually, because this is still the weekend. It moves from near the Guatemala area down here in Central America um, and goes into Mexico on the same weekend. So it's moving pretty quickly. However, once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, you can see it really starting to organize there. You can see those circular lines with deeper pressure, 990 millibars now. And you can see as it reaches the United States, it rapidly intensifies into 962. And that's pretty strong. That could be above a Category 1 hurricane, possibly a major hurricane. And then it strengthens even further as it makes impacts towards Texas, possibly, 947, massive system, taking up the entire Texas coast, and moves inland pretty slow into the state of Texas. This is one model, one run, and one solution that could occur. This is the latest GDPS model, and you can see it shows a similar scenario, but not quite. It does have that same low pressure system down south in the Caribbean area, 1004, but there's an additional system that formed up here and you can see it actually dances around with it a little bit and this becomes the main system 1002 and that takes over and narrowly goes in between Cuba and Mexico and once it gets into the Gulf it gets pretty large and it strengthens 978 as it approaches the coast of Texas 974 971 as it makes big impacts on Texas these are two models that do agree on very major U.S. impacts and could be our first major system of the year. Um, and it looks to be pretty damaging and pretty, pretty bad right now. It could change, but right now it's not looking very good. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic right now. And you can see waters are pretty warm in the Mexico Caribbean area, 29 degrees Celsius. But with those models having the systems rapidly strengthen in the Gulf of Mexico, you can see why. Temperatures are 30 to 32 plus degrees Celsius, especially in the coast of Louisiana and Texas. These are very warm to hot waters here that the hurricane can use to rapidly intensify into a life-threatening hurricane. That's just the weather forecast for this upcoming potential major hurricane. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.